Without further ado, hey everybody, it's time for a brand new Let's Play, The Twins. <laughs> Great. See, the first thing people are going to see on there is get raped by the lions. Uh, the creator says, hey kiddos, welcome to Leg Game. Uh, sorry for the hastiness in creation. You have high schools and you have to attend or you own your own. It's kind of a test drive using actual anime sprites and stuff. But no more chatting. Onward towards the novel. First off, what is your name? I think we agreed that the name will be Asswipe Jr. Alrighty, Asswipe Jr. Uh, things are going well here, Elite Gamer Girl. I'm glad to hear things are going well with you for school. I look forward to your games. You live with your mother in a huge house. How did you know, creator? I mean, what? No! No, I live in a box by myself. With some strange woman I call mother. <laughs> I'm not your mother! Can I have some more mac and cheese, mother? Okay. Have you seen my heroin spoons? Don't use my heroin spoons! Uh, ever since your father died, the once beautiful largeness of the home just, just seems empty. Like your soul. Your mother's personality has seemed pretty empty, too. This game just said that my mom has no personality. Damn game, that's cold. Oh, you're a freshman? I, I remember when I was a freshman many years and decades ago. <laughs> I don't miss that. Hey, d -Wash, how you doing? I need a baby Jesus to do the miracle of fiscal solvency for me. Hopefully things will change for the better soon. Ugh, mornings! At least I don't have to go to school today, so I can just relax. Might as well go get a glass of coffee. I have a feeling. I hope that's not his talking voice, because if so, I made Asswipe Jr.'s voice my own personal voice. Oh, wait, no. Oh, hey, Mom. Uh, don't you have work today? Mom looks like a whore. Where's Mom's arms? She lost them in a combine accident, apparently. I'm taking the day, a vacation day, so Tristan can move his things. Tristan? And where? What are you talking about, Mom? Who's Tristan? He can't be my new dad. I told you about him before. He's moving in to help us pay the bills. I hope my mom's not a prostitute. This house has always been too large for us. Just like your giant mom vagina. What'd you say? Nothing. So, so I decided to do the economical thing and invite in another family. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't heard any of this before. What's he like? What is the rest of his family like? Are you dating? Oh my god, I am playing a total loser. I am a... <laughs> Can he be my best friend? Am I going to have a new daddy? I'm like old daddy who abandoned me when he died. Oh. He's a respectable gym teacher. Captain Pete, you work with teachers. Are there, is there such a thing as a respectable gym teacher? I think not. <laughs> She's probably living on welfare. That's not fair to judge her. I'm sure times get hard. Did I even crop the chat right? I gotta check that out a second. Oh, okay. That's alright. Um, um, who handles his money well? He has two twin sons. Yes, I'm dating him. Wait, this is how I find out? This is how I find out my whore mom is dating somebody else because the person's moving in with his kids? How did I not know about this before? You're a terrible mom. Couldn't at some point you mention you were dating someone? This is how I find out. Oh yeah, I'm dating him. His wife died in the same working accident your father died in. Now that's scarily convenient. My father and the wife of the person she's dating died in the same accident. Exactly, no respectable phys ed teachers. It seems like God still has hope for us, doesn't it? How does that mean God has hope for us, Mom? Because our dad died? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, Dad wasn't good in bed, so God smited him so I could get a bigger wiener. Damn it, Mom. Oh, Coach, uh, there you go, Habbo, scoring points. My coach is the finest P.E. teacher, damn it. I, I assume you meant, meant P.E. and not P. I, I don't suck at P. I'm great at P. And I practice every day. Jim, when I was in school, physical education was like, yeah, you can get the basketballs out and play basketball if you want. Thanks, coach. It is an easy A. You just show up. Well, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. And they're moving in. Oh, wait. I don't know anything about them and they're moving in today? No, nah, no. Nah, the twins are moving in tomorrow. Come on. You think I'm that big of a whore? I didn't think so. Tristan's moving in today. Oh, I don't want to hear Tristan plowing my mom. Come on. So you have some time to get to know him first, at least. One day? Uh, I had no idea any of this was going to happen. 
I'm going to be living with complete strangers, one of whom is going to be boning my armless mom. <laughs> I hated physical education. I hate to stop the LP here. I hated PE. Oh, you broke your knee? Poor Elite Gamer Girl. I'll tell that story. I, when I was in, uh, I'll tell the story when you broke your knee. <laughs> so Elite Gamer Girl was doing backflips off the basketball hoop, and then somebody had spilled some water on it, and she slipped and landed on her knee and fractured it. Many years ago, um, I, I was in a PE, and we're down at the soccer field playing soccer. And normally, I refuse to do anything about that. But I thought, what the fuck? I'll play. And so I'm playing well. I mean, I'm kicking ass. Uh, you know, because back then, I was fast. I was really fast. Uh, not anymore. And uh, so one time, I run up to kick the ball, and, you know, I got my foot in the air to kick it. And I, and I got my plant flag, uh, plant flag, plant foot on my ground, on the ground. Some other idiot kid with no aim was trying to kick the ball, and he hit my plant leg, so I landed on my back, and I got the wind knocked out of me, and I was just like, ah, oh. and then I got up and I walked off the field, because I was like, this is stupid. Getting the wind knocked out of myself for soccer is stupid. Football, I get. Baseball, soccer, never again. And I never played soccer ever again after that. Um, wait, what? Back to the game. I was homeschooled for a couple years. My parents quit doing that, though, because they refused to listen. Um, what if the people moving into my house are abusive or thieves or they're messy and hard to live with? Thank you, Han. Uh, thanks for what? Being understanding and working to adapt to these new lifestyle changes that I moved some strange man I met at the bus stop into our home. He's my new love. Well, it's not really like I have much choice in the matter, do I? But at least she's being sincere, and what if she really does love this man? I do not play for the ladybugs. What if this new family, by some weird chance, can fix all the darkness that my father's death brought? What the hell is this guy? Who who the hell is like, yep, yeah, my dad died in a tragic accident. Maybe new dad that my mom is boning will fix all my problems. Now, uh, our PE guy, once we had an overweight dude and then we had a lesbian chick. Those were our teachers. That's yeah, at least worth a chance. Plus, I've Plus, I've... Oh, sorry about that. Plus, I've... I do not know what the hell is up with this mic. I apologize for that. Plus, I've never had a sibling before. This could be a cool opportunity. Uh, what's a fixer, loud goat? Should I worry about that? Uh, you're welcome, Mom. I, I, I understand. I can't help it that I do understand. I don't know. What am I going to do? Ah. Yeah, I, I know. The mic just kind of died for a second there. I've been having pro problems. God. I don't know. I've been having some mic problems of late. It's uh, frustrating. I gotta get a new mic, I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. It's just being a dipshit. Ding! Oh, cool! He's here! Hey, Kid Kingpin! Welcome to the show! We're learning about, uh, s s we're a character, our father died, over here the armless lady is our slut mom, and here's her new man. Tristan, this is my daughter asswipe! I'm a woman? I'm a girl? What the- What the hell? How in the world am I a- How in the world am I- I'm an- I'm a girl, apparently. Whatever, I'm sticking with my voice. Good to finally meet my lovely daughter behind this amazing woman. Oh, the lovely daughter. It's a pleasure to get to live with you both. Ah, oh, creepy. Creepy new dad. He looks kind of scruffy, but he seems like a nice man. He smells like garbage trash and, you know, cough syrup, but whatever. Uh, it's nice to meet you too, Tristan. Asswipe Jr., do you want to sit down and have some tea with us before he starts unpacking? Oh, tea? What is this, Great Britain? No, I don't want tea. Um, uh, no, I think I need some time alone to adapt to these changes. That's a little too fast. Yeah, it's all fucking M. Night. I think I should go to the bookstore or something. Uh, the day's just starting off and it's already feeling long. God. 
I don't want to have to switch mics, but you know, uh, give me just a sec, sorry. Yeah, I know, it's me versus the mic. I, I, I had this problem, like, last time I streamed, then I recorded all of last night, and I didn't have any problem with it. It's like it's fucking with me. That's a good idea, Captain Pete. Go to a bookstore to stay warm in the winter. Uh, what do I feel like reading today? Let's say I could read Shock by Robin Cook, a medical thriller, The Maze Runner by James Dashner, a youth sci-fi novel, and Sunshine by Robin McKinley, a teen vampire novel? I'm sure not reading the fucking teen vampire novel. Yeah, I have a mic, D-Wash, it just doesn't seem to want to work all the time. It's very, it's very like, uh, not today, maybe tomorrow, and then sometimes it's perfect, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's where my mom picked up Tristan. Either that or it was like in the back of a dumpster. She's like, you look nice! I don't want to read the teen, teen vampire novel. Uh, you know, I'll let you guys decide if you want um, teen vampire novel, youth sci-fi novel, or medical thriller. Sci-fi is probably what I would go with. I don't know. I don't read a lot, though. Especially, I mostly read... I, I, I mostly read, like, not... Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any Playboys. I wish they did. Somebody say something other than teen vampire novel. Otherwise, I'm going to count that as Captain Pete's vote. Oh, damn. All right, I'll do the teen vampire novel. You break open the book and begin to read. The story is set in an alternative universe taking place after the voodoo wars, a conflict between humans and the others. The others consist mainly of vampires, werewolves, and demons, although the main conflict occurs between humans and vampires. Uh, I think they're mad because they wear the same outfit or something. As a result of this war... Bad spots are places where black magic thrives have uh, appeared more frequently. Erotic, ooh, I don't, erotic teen vampire novel? Maybe that's better. Ray Sunshine said it in the pastry making heroine of the novel. What? I'm mad at you. I'm gonna be bake a motherfucking cake. Pastry making heroine of the novel has the misfortune of being caught off guard at a family's old lakeside cabin and being abducted by a gang of vampires. She is confined to the ballroom. The ballroom? Is that like where they keep their balls? Balls held for pleasure are the best balls of all. Of an abandoned mansion with Constantine a vampire shackled there by the vampire's rival gang, the Bloods and the Crips, led by Constantine's enemy Bo, like of the Duke Brothers? I can't afford no magic, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't even afford magic the gathering cards. Bo's intention is to allow Constantine to slowly die of hunger and exposure to sunlight. Oh, the story is horrible. Ray is brought as bait for him, and the vampires cut her upper chest as temptation. What what kind of snuff book is this? So they're cutting her boobs? How is that interesting? However, Ray not only manages to defy the supposed power that any vampire has over a human, but also uses her all but forgotten magic powers of transmutation taught to her by her grandmother to effect an escape. She's like, Bazamble, what's over there? And then she runs out. Ray realizes that the magical lineage she has ignored allows her to draw power from sunlight, ergo transforming her ability to touch through touch to Constantine, allowing him to be under the light of day so long as contact is maintained. So wait, as long as she touches this other vampire, he can go out in the sun. But the moment she takes her hand off, is he going to die? Through this symbiotic relationship, the two of them make an escape. Maybe she's just really needy. She's like, if I don't touch you, you're going to die in the sun. <laughs> and he's really stupid. He's like, I don't want to die in the sun. And she's like, you're my new boyfriend. <laughs> you glance up at the clock on the wall to the left, and you realize it's reached evening time. I would hope Stephen King would write something better than this. You ought to get back to the home and work on your homework. You take this time to return to your bedroom. There are still several hours left in your day. What is there to do? Can I play with my vagina? Um, do you homework? No, I'm going to play games on my computer. Fuck that. Decided to procrastinate on another day's schoolwork. You decide to play some computer games. 
I am not glad I had to read the vampire thing. Thank you, Captain Pete and Elite Gamer Girl, who were like, do the vampire novel. Ugh. I don't know how you get a Majestic in this game. I don't even have the Majestic overlay set up. At least uh, Jess isn't here to give me grief. It's a shame that your best friend Max isn't online to play with you. Oh, I wish he'd play with me. This evening, he must be doing his homework or something. Nevertheless, you have a t lot of fun finding the new creature to accompany your Shin Mega Tensai character. All of a sudden, you hear weird noises. Coming from the other room. Oh! Ah, ah, ah. You're pretty sure Tristan is nailing your whore, Mom. When you start to feel sleep getting tired from the screen and lack of sleep, you go to bed. Yawn. Another day. Man, I really want some orange juice with vodka in it. It took me a second on that one, Brian. That's like, he can take you. Oh, his name's Max. Ah, and then I almost spat out my drink. Uh, good morning, Asswipe Jr. Stay away from me, creepy wannabe stepdad. Uh, wow, you slept here last night? Uh, yeah, I moved in yesterday. It's fair for me to sleep here once all my belongings are here. What is that, some sort of vampire thing? Like, if you put a bowl in someone's house, you'd be like, My shit's here, I can sleep here. Yeah, I guess I understand. I just kind of got caught off guard. Uh, you yeah, understand, too. Must be different having new people around boning your mom. Your mom's pretty hot, you know? You're looking good, too. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess a bit. This is weird. I am not humping the door. <laughs> that door is sexy. That door was asking for it. Uh, when are your sons getting here? Uh, Kane will probably be here shortly after. Is your other son going to be named Abel? Because, yeah. Xander usually doesn't get out of bed until evening time. Oh, Xander's like me. Um, oh, alright. I, I, I guess I look forward to meeting them. Yeah, I hope you, uh, you, you'll you get along well. They're a bit older than you, so age difference shouldn't be an issue. Just, <laughs> I think we sang enough songs. I got so drunk in that stream when I did that Minion stream the other day. That just went really weird. You, yeah, you, that's not a bad idea, Habbo. You could be like, hey, Hugh Hefner, I brought, like, a salt, 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 a salt shaker. Apparently, I don't know what salt shakers are. Uh, you'll probably like Kane. Um, why wouldn't I like the other one? But I'm going to take this coffee here to your beautiful mother. I've wrecked her hole last night. I don't want to hear about that. Well, this orange juice is tasty. I hope Tristan's kids are tasty. I wonder what my new brothers will be like. Holy fucking shit, that's moving fast. The guy just moved in and she's like, I've got new brothers now. Um, come in. Ah, that must be one of them right now. What was his name again? Hi there. Uh huh. Wow, he's a lot more attractive than I expected. Wow, I did not. Maybe it's because I'm a guy. I I didn't think he was attractive. I did not. Maybe some of you guys watching are like, yeah, that's hot. But I don't know any of the ladies in the room. Sounds like this guy's available. You know, elite gamer girl. I've been worried the same thing about the incest thing. Like, the moment they said that there was the brothers thing, I was like, uh-oh, where is this going? Uh, hey. Uh, what was it? So, sounds like you're my new roommate. and soon to be sister. Yeah, it seems, it seems that way. You're pretty easy on the eyes. Yeah, thanks, uh, I guess. Come on into the kitchen, I'll get you a drink. This is actually a really nice house. Daddy wasn't kidding. His sister seems pretty nice, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I hope it's not like that one was, Brian. I, I I don't know what's going on here. Like, I j yeah, yeah. I'm sorry if this game takes a really terrible turn, because I've not played it before. I have not played it before, so... Yeah. Uh, don't call me sister. Just call me Asswipe Jr., okay? I was gonna call you it to bug you into telling me your name. Fortunately, Dad didn't mention your sweet, sweet name. Uh, he mentioned yours, but I can't remember what it was again. Uh, it's Tristan. Kane. Oh, wait, Tristan's the dad. Apparently, I'm terrible at names. <laughs> Captain Pete, are you offended that the incest hasn't happened yet? That's awkward. I'm like Kane and Abel? Yeah, but I spell it differently. 
Yeah, that's a kind of cool name. What do you think of it? I think you're needy. He's like, what do you think of my name? You like that? I like... Oh, wait. I like it. Wait, uh, that's not supposed to be Kane here. That's supposed to be Asswipe Jr. You have a Dragon Ball Z scooter? They make such a thing? No, we don't need incest, Brian R. I like it. Could be a lot worse. They wanted to name me Deborah. Are you serious? Wait, th the things are all messed up. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, maybe it's not. Maybe I'm confused. Of course not. What kind of parents named their boy baby boy Jabra? Well, you should have seen the look on your face. It was worth it. Um, what's your brother like? I, I would like to know. I mean, I don't... As long as you wear a cod, I don't think that's what I'm trying to... Xander, jeez, he's hard to get along with. There's no sense being upset as he gets. It's pointless. Yeah, he's winking at you or he's having a stroke. And he wants to stroke it. And even though we're twins, I'm definitely the handsome one. <laughs> Is that so? It must be. Wink. <laughs> Brian was right. But anyway, do you feel like showering with me? I mean, showering me around the house. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, it'll give me something to do with my otherwise lazy morning. Uh, so you saw the living room, and we're in the kitchen. Uh, this is the guest room. It'll probably end up belonging to you. The, uh, another guest room. Ooh, I like that guest room. Can I live in that house? As long as Tristan and his freaky-ass kids don't hit on me. Uh, my mom's bedroom. It smells like whore. My room smells like, um, juniper. And there's also an attic in a big backyard, but no one ever goes in there. I'd like to go in your backyard. What? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can find the backyard by yourself. I can see it from here. <laughs> Uh, thanks for giving me the rundown. I don't want to shower with my new stepbrother. I think you're a pretty cool girl so far. I'm almost certain living with you could be a good thing. I'm gonna go set up my things in one of the guest bedrooms, talk to daddy for a bit, and meet your mother. Oh, you better not do it with my mom, too. I've seen that video. Wait, I mean, no? I'll catch up with you later. Oh, that's amazing that you mentioned Clue. I was reading about the Clue movie the other day. I haven't seen that in forever. Uh, Mr. Green, wasn't that Martin Mull's character? Tell him to put up... <laughs> Brian's like, button up your damn shirt, son! Mm. Uh, well, I have a few hours before lunchtime. What should I do? Let's see, I can snack on something in the kitchen. I can try and draw something, I can study a foreign language, or I can play a computer game. Well, hmm. If anybody has suggestions, you can feel free to suggest. Do the leg, I might pick something before that. I certainly do not want to study a foreign language. I don't be like, mm, don't they have style, biblioteca? Draw dicks on the wall? Alright, loud get. I'm going to try and draw something. You decide that you might as well pass the time by trying to draw something. You're going to draw dicks. You hope to see Tristan's dick, or what's his name, Kane's dick. So you take out your pencil and a sheet of paper, and you try and draw. It seems mighty small. As you sketch, you decide to draw an anime girl with a dick. Uh, you work on it for a little over half an hour, hour before the doorbell rings. Apparently, Tristan ordered Chinese food. You set the paper down, and you look at your drawing. It looks kind of derpy, but whatever. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Um... Uh, give me a second. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, I don't think I have it enabled. No, I want to add... Ah, damn it. There used to be a plugin on, um... XSplit where you could draw on things. Because I was going to draw a dick on her face. But what? Captain P! <laughs> Captain... <laughs> oh, Michael McKean was Mr. Green? Oh. I like Captain Pete there. He's like, that That picture's terrible. Elite Gamer Girl's all nice. It's like, at least you try. Captain Pete's like, you should go abort yourself. You put the paper in one of your notebooks and head out to the kitchen. You sit down at the table and begin to eat a family. No, eat as a family. Well, that's two very different things. Uh, hey there. Glad you could join us. Why does New Dad look like a total fucking bum? And then... Someday stepbrother is totally creeping on me. 
And mom still ain't got no arms. Please charm these food. How could she miss such a delicious opportunity? I think she's delicious. You scared me, dude. I, I, ah! I, I, I don't know what any about that is about, but it creeps me the fuck out. Yeah, he does look like a douchebag, totally. Uh, it's really, is your other son really asleep? Oh, maybe he's a vampire, like in the story we read. Uh, yeah, I told you. I told you! Seems like he never gets out of bed. You know, your mother? I'm not, no, I'm not gonna, uh. Oh. This Chinese food is delicious, like my vagina! Maybe if I put some Chinese food in there? You want some? Oh, wait, what's that? I think I found a corn dog in there. Thank you very much for buying it, Tristan. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, wait, which cans? Always bringing good home food. Food home, ha! Uh, oh, it's no trouble at all. The rest of the meal went smoothly. It's a good thing that we can all get along. Can't we all just get along? I think that's the important thing. Give me just a sec, sorry. I don't know. I like. I don't like the new family that's moved in. And free Chinese food. Maybe this was a change for the better. What? What? So, I hope she means for the day, not be like, yeah, maybe it's okay. My dad died in a tragic uh, accident because I got Chinese food. Mom certainly seems really happy, and so does Tristan. Here, I'll take the plates. How? You don't have any arms, Mom. Uh, I'll help you with them. No sense making a pretty lady do so much work. So what do you think? Have fun. Uh, yeah, it was better than I expected. She sold out. She's a Chinese food whore. Some women give up for Chinese food, I guess. I want Chinese food. I fucking love Chinese food. Captain Pete, I hope these people get a Ebola. Oh, quit winking at me, Kane. Oh, yeah. Everyone soon realizes that being around me is quite enjoyable. Anyway, I have some work to catch up on. Middleman, you can ask the chat to re, uh, refresh you on um, what's going on, because we're in the middle of the story. Kane is, uh, it's just a lot to explain. I was supposed to turn in f some art for my graphic design course yesterday. Um, but there wasn't school yesterday. You're forgetting I'm a bit older than you, asswap, Junior. You'd fuck him, Blue Jay? No, no! Blue Jay, you must have better taste. Oh, oh! Hey, an online course is late for no one. Ha ha ha! And so I'll meet up with your lovely self later in the evening or tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't know that incest was a possible part of the game. I thought it was gonna be cute. It was called the twins. Well, might as well walk. Oh God! What if we get double teamed by both of them? Oh, no, 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 no! Of course, why wouldn't I be? Uh. Uh, say Kane again? I don't, I don't... We might as well walk around outside for a little while. Who's that? Um, hey. It's, it's the dark other twin. Hey. This is going to be the mysterious one. Is he deaf or something? Hey, I can fix you as a person. Shouldn't my new housemate know how not to be annoying? So he's the other son. What a jerk! Admittedly, according to Tristan, he probably just woke up not too long ago, so yelling at him is probably probably pretty annoying. That right there, someone should screen cap and put on Facebook or Twitter. You've earned the rep as in of the incest gamer. Congrats! Achievement unlocked. I am the incest gamer. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> What? You're telling me to get my attention and now you're mute? Uh oh. Hey, uh, don't get mad at me for being curious when a shady character was looking around my house. I don't like wine coolers. I'm surprised you were confused at all when you were told I'd be arriving this evening. You must be a daft girl. Uh, you don't know a thing about me. You don't know me. 
My mind can fill in the pieces with the given information so far. Unlike yours, apparently. Well, anyway, I am going inside. What a pain. Just when I thought this whole change was a good thing. Not feeling like heading back into the house, you walk over to the mall. You feel like talking this time to visit your favorite shop. Taking the time. Whatever. Yeah, they can't afford buttons in that family, apparently. The cashier smiles at you from across the store. I might bang my brothers. You smile back and walk around happily, looking at the new items of familiar, colorful shelves. What do you want to buy? Um, let's see, a gold necklace, a signed baseball, the first chapter of a sci-fi manga, a basic tattoo kit. Yeah, because I'm going to home tattoo. Hey, Mom, I bought a needle and some ink. A nice set of drawing utensils. <laughs> goat, god damn it. Claims not to like wine coolers. Okay with being the incest game. I wasn't really going to put that on like my resume. I'm never going to be able to get a normal job now. Super Paul incest games? I could be rich with those. They would sell like mad in Japan. People are like, I fucking want a basic tattoo kit. Alright, bro. <laughs> I don't know what kind of girl I am, but I'm coming back. You can take the item to the counter. A cashier asks how you've been, and she rings up your item. Afterward, you head back home. Now I can tattoo some bitches. I can tattoo dicks on my body. <laughs> no, lad goat. You put the item on your bedside table. Uh, what is there to do now? Let's see. I can look at comics online, see what Kane is up to, relax in the backyard. What? I can't start tattooing dicks all over the place? Tattoo on one over my vag with an arrow and be like, that's where it goes. <laughs> In this moment, I'm all of a sudden glad that I'm not like on a first date. I would hate someone on a first date to see that. But, uh, the normal job boat sit a long time ago. Hey, Cedric, how you doing, man? I'm not really into online comics. Um... Sooner or later, somebody's gonna get their fucking ass tattooed. I don't want to see Kane. That guy is fucking creepy as hell. So, maybe relax in the backyard? You, you open the back door and step outside. Even though it's evening time, it's getting pretty dark. You close your eyes and let out a sigh, and then you realize there's someone else nearby. I hope Kane is not jacking off. Oh, look who followed me out here! I didn't follow you. I, I came out here to relax. So did I, but it's obvious I won't be able to. Let's see, I can tell him I'm not annoying. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm not annoying. Whatever. He sits down at the side of the pool and stares into the water. You wonder what he's thinking about. <laughs> Team Victor, wait. Uh... Yeah, I can't focus with other people around me. I'm going inside. Why do we not know his name? His name is Xander. You sit outside for a while longer till you feel yourself starting to fall asleep. You make your way to your room and then pass out in your bed. Push him? I wish I could have Elite Gamer Girl. That would have been... Drown him. <laughs> Elite Gamer Girl, maybe you need to make a game that is terribly dark. You're like family murderer. Oh... Uh... Of course, you probably can't show that to your family then. Rawr! Oh, school's today. I better get ready. Uh, what do I feel like wearing? Let's see. I can put my hair up and wear a button-up shirt and shorts. Or leave my hair down and wear skinny jeans and a t-shirt. I am not strangely attached to any of my stepbrothers. Thank you, sir. And right now, I have much more important things to do. Like decide if I should have my hair up and a button-up shirt and shorts. Or I should leave my hair down and wear skinny jeans and a t-shirt. You know, these are the important life decisions I have to make. Because I need the boys to ogle me and look at me. Uh, yeah, I can't afford buttons. That's why I'm better than Tristan and his trash family. I can't afford no motherfucking buttons. They can go fuck themselves. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to let my hair down, because I don't have any hair in real life, and wear skinny jeans and a t-shirt. I put a shirt to rebel. <laughs> I should have done that. It's too bad I read that right after I clicked on it. Perfect. Just in time to get to school. What a boring day. Holy shit. Look at the schoolroom. I go to school in 1842. Right now, there's what? Like 20 some states, if that? Someone's like... <laughs> it's going to be all white people here. And I'm going to be like... Can't... 
Can't black people have the right to be free and vote? And then they're going to whip me in the town square. Who's that? Hey, it's our friend Max! Crap, I'm out of voices. I guess he gets my normal voice? Is that going to be confusing? Do I, let, me, let me think a second. I don't think I have any other ones. I don't have a lot of room. Hey, I asked White Jr. Oh, hey, Max. How's my best pal doing? I haven't heard from you all weekend. Yeah, something weird happened. Oddly, you have the same voice as the uh, narrator. Uh, my mom is having her boyfriend and his two sons move in. Oh, that explains it. That's weird. Oh, poor Max. I can... This is the moment. This is the moment. Max has a crush on our character, I bet. And now he realizes he doesn't have a chance because she's a dirty whore and is going to fuck his her future stepbrothers. Probably stressful, too. I'm sorry. No, don't be an understanding sympathetic wuss, Max. Punch your tits. Uh, don't worry. It's all right. Uh... There is a sewing machine in the room. Well done, Captain P. I didn't even notice that. That's probably new technology for what was it, 18 or 1842? We're like, all right, everybody, we want to teach you about the future of technology. Singer number one, sewing machine. There's the foot pedal. I'm going to go home and mom's going to be mad. What? No machine's going to ever sew better than I can. Oh. <laughs> Max has some class. He has buttons, even if they're not all the way buttoned up. Uh, well, except for one of them. Uh, what are they like? Uh, my mom's boyfriend, Tristan, he's really friendly. Like, almost too friendly, if you know what I mean. Um, he's a gym teacher, actually. Uh, he compliments my mom, like, a lot, and they rarely come out of the bedroom. Well, there you go. I said they were, like, fucking, and obviously they are. Great. That, that must be a great feeling. Dad died, and then Mom's like, hey, guess what? Someone's gonna fuck me tonight, and we have Chinese food. What? What? Tell me more about Chinese food. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, this school is from, like, a long time ago. What is that, a Sibley stove out there? Captain Pete's like, that's like where I work. <laughs> Blue Jay, that's well. I remember this room in my grandmother's yearbook. Uh, and then they bought us Chinese food yesterday. Oh, well, that sounds great, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, and the sons are twins. <laughs> Teacher scored in your mom's net. Oh. Uh, one is Kane. He has blonde hair. Is friendly too. This moment right here that poor Max is going through. I think many of us have probably gone through. When you like someone and then they start telling you about someone else, you're like, oh, I kind of like you, and they're like, oh, this one guy or this one girl is like this and this and this, and you're like, oh yeah, I care so fucking much. She shook me all night long. Yeah. I was listening to some ACDC when I did my baby thing. Wait, that sounds wrong. Uh, the other one has red hair, and I don't remember his name. His name is Xander Woman! Not Xander Woman, but... Mary Sue, sell me a motherfucking sweater. Uh, he's kind of a jerk, and we don't talk very much. Do you think the teacher's gonna let me use the Singer sewing machine? I really want to learn how to sew. I think boys would like that. Well, at least he leaves you alone instead of constantly bugging you. Yeah, I guess so, but I'm a complicated woman, and I want someone to like me, but not too much. I want them to be an asshole, and I want them to put dicks in me. I got a tattoo thing. Can I tattoo my name on your head? Um, so what's been going on with you? Oh, I've been watching a lot of pretty cool anime. Uh, it's called Meraniki, or Future Diary in English. Ah, uh, Future Diary? Cool, what's it about? It's about a future diary. What the fuck do you think it's about? Well, this god of time decides to play a game with these humans to see who his successor will be, and then he loses all his power. <laughs> what's wrong with singing Th Thunderstruck while you're having sex? I like to sing uh, Big Balls. Some balls are held for pleasure, and some for fancy dress. But my balls are held for pleasure? Wait, they're the ones I like. I fucked up the lyrics. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so he gives like 12 people, I think. He turns their cell phones into diaries that predict the future! I'd be mad. I'd be like, I need my phone. I can't call someone on a future diary, weird time god. And the 12 people then have to kill each other, and whoever's the survivor wins. So it's like, um, Highlander? Yeah, I want the basic tattoo kit to be used, too. It's really cool so far. I like it a lot. You should watch it. I might. Sweet. Uh, then we'd have a bunch of inside jokes. Inside. You know, like Tristan gets inside your mom. Oh, too early? They even made an abridged series of it, uh, which is probably even better. 
Ah, that's exciting! I'm excited! I have to go, though, because you're weird, or I'll be late for my next class. There are no other classes, Maxes! We're in a one-room schoolhouse! What is the other class? Outside? Is that when you study? You're like, this is a tree, God made it! And God's like, eh, not today. Mm, hunger games make me hungry. I, I have to catch up with you later! Well, it's definitely cool to get to talk to him again. I f kind of feel bad. It's true that I didn't try to contact him at all this weekend. Um, oh well, at least he was understanding. Or could I sing the uh, All Hail Caesar one ACD did during sex? And wear a laurel wreath, um, a lauren wreath, what? And should I expect anything less? Max is awesome! Ha ha ha! He's, he's awesome! Anyway, where should I eat lunch? The courtyard. I bet Tristan is eating your mom right now. What? The courtyard seems like a nice place today. Well, that turned out to be a decent lunch after all. Back to class, I guess. Was that really needed, that scene? Ellipses. That's like a super ellipses. The other class is Punishment Closet. I totally missed that. Man, Punishment Closet was great today. Hey, honey, we're just about to leave. Uh, where, where for? I think I gotta go to the VD clinic. Tristan might have given me something. But, um, nah, I'm gonna go get a nice dinner with the Red Lobster. He's making it up to me. Don't wait up. See you later, kid. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? What am I supposed to do for supper? You start to make some macaroni and cheese and bacon for yourself. Mmm, bacon. As you are cooking, you hear someone behind you. I think Mom's getting more than enough tea. Elite Gamer Girl's like, she needs some more. Smells disgusting. What is it? Ah, my supper. And if it smells so disgusting, why don't you pass on by then, fuckhead? I'm hungry, and Kane left with his buddies, so I can't convince him to make me anything. I guess I'm stuck with whatever inedible concoction you're cooking up. What do you... What? Dinner's not Kane's dick. I'm not fucking eating Kane's dick. And Xander, you can go fuck yourself. Who walks in and like, I guess I have to eat what you're making for me. I wasn't making this for you, bitch. Go buy some buttons and go get your own goddamn food. <laughs> As if I'd let you have any of my food. I'm sure your mother would be pleased to no end to hear that you starved your new brother. You just lived and moved into my house. Isn't that creepy you're calling yourself my brother? Very creepy. I'm sure she's understand. Given the circumstances, I love it when I'm understand, too. I hope she'd not fill a poke on her backside. You mean being rude and unwilling to share? Ah, uh, yeah, something like that. All of a sudden, he steps forward, grabs the ladle you, you was using to stir, and dips a large portion of mac and cheese onto his plate. You motherfucker! I hate mac and cheese in real life, because we ate so much of that when I was kids. When I was kids. When I was multiple children, before I merged to form Super Paul, uh, we ate that all the time, so I hate mac and cheese. But the story is, you can't have my food, bitch! Before you can stop him, he's already begun eating it. Punch him in his dick hole! Asswipe Jr., punch him in his dick hole. He stole your food! You need food to survive! He's trying to kill you! It is self-defense! Yeah, I agree. I agree with Blue Jay. Max is the best. Um... And then everybody else kind of sucks. <laughs> I can say good it was poisoned, or I can yell you jerk. I wish it really was poisoned. Detroit can't have schools that nice, Kid King Pen. Let's be honest. Well, what should I do? Tell him it's poisoned or call him a jerk? Or just start jerking it? I love, I love Blue Jay. I'm so glad you're here. I love that we can play a game like this, something that's kind of weird and silly with a visual novel, and be like, "That's right, boys," and we're just having fun. I kind of want to tell him it's poison, but I, I really wish I could put some poison in it. it. It'd be awesome to see him die of rat poisoning. All right, yeah, poison. Brian steered me right on the tattoo thing. Tristan probably is good at fucking. Clever. Good thing I expected as much and already fashioned an antidote. Bullshit. You'll see tomorrow if I'm still alive now, won't you? I hope he's dead. It would be awesome if he was dead and then Tristan's like, My boy! My boy is dead! And yeah, that would be cool. 
Anyway, thanks for the meal, dweeb! After you eat supper and clean up the dishes, you return to your room. You know what the weird thing is? I'm not gonna poison him then jerk him off. You know, early on, I thought Kane was a dip dipshit. I thought he was the dick. I didn't realize that Xander was the actual dick. Like, I thought Kane was the jerk full of himself. But then you meet his brother and you're like, wow. And you know what t taught me the most is Tristan is a very shitty dad. He's not a very good dad. You decide to just do your homework for the day and go to sleep. Murder than incest? I love murder incest the game. Uh, instead of what is it, murder right kill, it's murder incest kill? No, date? I don't know how to do that. I'm just like, do you like murder kill slash? You don't know how to do games, Super Paul. I killed them all! <laughs> Not necro necrophiliac. Uh, time to go to school. Um, what should I pack for lunch? A giant turkey leg or a pudding and ham sandwich? Ew! I do not want pudding on a ham sandwich. I want a motherfucking turkey leg because I'm a goddamn Viking. Uh, back in your one-room schoolyard, as the school marm is teaching you about arithmetic, well, teaching the boys about arithmetic, teaching you about periods, class was boring again today, which wasn't surprising because it's boring every day. Before lunch break, Max came up to me again. Hey, uh, did you have fun in class today? Yeah, turkey leg's so good. Ah, uh, don't choke with me, Max. You already know the answer to that. Ah, yeah, I know. I, I wish you'd cheer up, though. You might actually pay attention and learn something. <laughs> no dick. I don't want to open up my fucking lunchbox and find a dick in there. Ah! Turkey leg America. Uh, what useful stuff can school teach me anyway? Plenty. I learned that aliens were real from school. How, uh, how do you figure that? All the Mexicans in the room? Max, that's inappropriate! It's a secret, though. Pay attention and you might find out. Ah, tricky. Anyway, have fun at lunch. I'm off. The cafeteria is surprisingly empty today. Yeah, I agree with Team Max. He seems like the only decent guy in here. <laughs> lunchbox, dicks, lunchbox dick with dick pudding. That's good. Be what? This is the cafeteria. There's no fucking way that one school room school the one room schoolhouse has a restaurant type cafeteria. When when the heating thing is from like a hundred and some years ago, there is no way this is their motherfucking cafeteria. Did they not plan the budget right? They're like, yeah, we spent all the money on the cafeteria, so that's good, because I'd be a little embarrassed if anyone I cared about saw me eating this massive turkey. Like, what are you... Asswipe Junior? Come on, just tear into that, like, a real woman with your teeth. Just be like, ah. Like, if you see a woman who's, like, tearing into a leg of turkey, you're like, oh my god, she should bear my children and help us invade England. She will be good when we sack other people. I know, Elite Gamer Girl, that's nice. This is the darndest thing I've ever seen! What the hell? He shouldn't be up yet, and why is he even here in my cafeteria? Hey, Jess. No, uh, we're doing a visual novel. If you want, I'm sure people can give you a recap on what's going on. Detroit is the type of cafeterias. Your mom woke me up and told me to tell you her and dad are going on a romantic getaway. Oh, God. How often do I have to hear about this new dude boning my mom? Isn't it bad enough my dad died in an accident? Now it's like, honey, I'm boning this hobo and here's Chinese food. And now they're leaving me with my two creepy future stepbrothers? This is not a game about incest. Well, it might be about incest. I'm really hoping it's not. It seems to be leaning in that direction. Here's the money she told me to bring you. Uh, such a pain in my ass. Can I be a pain in yours? <laughs> t Walsh is like, Rod, whoa, you could have just waited until I got home. I was already up. I would have forgotten to spend the money on drugs or something. I don't know. I am not touching myself to this game. I am holding up a Red Wings like tumbler glass my friend Melanie got that I had made a highball in. I might make another after this game. I don't know. No, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Goodbye! Well, that was weird. I think we went back to school for a second. After school, I returned home to see what seemed to be in an empty house. I hated the empty house. I hate it so much! <laughs> Just, it always reminded me of my father being gone. I started to sigh, but I thought I sensed a movement behind me. Then you realized it was just your imagination, not a ghost stick, and you sighed. 
<sighs> it seemed like nothing had really changed. Ellipses. Why, Loud Coat, are you like a Blues fan or an Avs fan? Maybe Blackhawks? You decide to go on a walk. If I'm going to stop a second in hockey, the worst thing that happened in hockey this past, like, last year, whatever, was when the Wings moved to the East. You know how much it sucks when you have all these, div like, conference rivals forever, and then you move out of the conference? Think of Chinese food? Oh, Elite Gamer Girl, that's... No! Elite Gamer Girl, that's so dark! Like when Ghost Dick is coming up behind me? Think of Chinese food. Think of... Uh, 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 Mugu Gai Pan. Uh, cream of some young boy. Wait, oh, no! Oh! Exactly, Brian, go wings! Ellipses. Hey, Brian, you watched the Lions this past Sunday? Man, how about the Lions this year? They're looking good. That de defense is amazing. Super ellipses. Wait, I want this little backpack thing with a little bird on it. The video game store doesn't seem to cheer you up. You stare at the meager amount of cash that your mother left you. Aren't we supposed to buy food, not video games? Is that Nintendo 64? You wouldn't be able to buy even the cheapest game, but here, cheaper than your mom. The bookstore doesn't cheer you up. You don't feel like reading. Who's number one in the division right now, Captain Pete? Even your favorite shop can't curb how empty and disappointed you feel. I'm going to stop a second. Brian, are you not sick of the Lions' offense? Our defense is amazing, and the Lions' offense is... Like, they have so much talent, and they just cannot get their shit together. Oh, that's okay. The Cowboys have been there before. Hey, it's Max! Hey, Asswipe Jr., good to see you here. Hey, what's wrong? You don't look so good. Um, thanks. Whoa, that's not unusual, Asswipe Jr. Talk, either. Uh, you know, something, you know? It's clearly upsetting you. Why don't we talk about it? Yeah, uh, here, come with me, okay? Wait, we're gonna come with him? Look, it's a nice night outside, isn't it? On the you know, savannas of Africa? <laughs> this is a legitimate point. I can't afford games that are 10 years old, but we have a massive house. Uh, why are you doing this, Max? I, I'm a really bad friend to you. Well, sometimes that doesn't matter. What matters is that you need some cheering up. I couldn't agree with you more, Brian. Thank God we have Golden Tate, though. I'm gonna say thank you. I'm not telling Max to go away. I'm I'm with Blue Jay and Team Max. Hey, it's uh, it's what friends do. And don't you worry. I've always been here to cheer you up. Okay, I'll always be. Poor Jets. Poor New York teams. Max, wait, wait, whoa, whoa! That's the end of the game. That's the end of the game. Friendship ending. That's the end of the game. Max and you are friends. I got friend zoned by Max at the end of the game? How the fuck does that happen? I mean, thank God we didn't have incest. Or potential incest. Golden Tate is amazing for yards after the catch, but. That's it! That's it! The Max. That, that was abrupt! That's like you ran into the wall! <laughs> I'm like, like, oh, I'm sorry, Kid Kingpin, there was no incest. Play again and get incest? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't even know how I would get incest at this point, unless I told Max no, maybe? I don't know. Fade out. A quickly made Mudkip, uh, that was the game.